Today is September 7th, 2016, and if you are like me, you are very excited because Apple just had their fall event. There's all kinds of brand new stuff coming out. In this video, I'm going to go through in order and tell you every single thing you missed. You're not going to want to miss this. Welcome back everybody, this is Dave from Apple Unlimited and today Apple had their event at the Billy Graham Theater in San Francisco. So first things first, let's talk about Apple Music. They have a brand new app called Carpool Karaoke and that is exactly how it sounds. Apple Music has 17 million paid subscribers as well as 30 million songs and that number is growing every day. Apple Music will be hosting its 10th annual music festival in London this year and it will be a live stream so don't miss that. The App Store has 140 billion apps. That number is ridiculous. And out of those apps, 500,000 or a half a million are video games. That is our number one best-selling type of app. And with that in mind, Miyamoto himself showed up today to announce that Mario is coming to the iPhone. That is really exciting for me. And it's going to be a brand new game called Super Mario Run. In this game, you will be collecting coins and just jumping with one hand. Uh, this is good in case you want to eat a hamburger or an apple at the same time you're playing. It's also going to have a second part of the game called Toad Rally, and that's kind of like battle mode, where you can battle any of your friends anywhere in the world. Uh, and the point of that is to collect coins and to impress Toad. This game is set for release before the holidays at a set price, although that price was not announced today. Uh, but what was announced was the iPhone 10 is going to have a set of Mario stickers available for free uh, you can use in Messenger. Apple turned 40 this year. They also talked about something they're doing called Connect Ed, which is a way of uh, supplying underprivileged schools with supplies. So they did donate 50,000 iPads as well as roughly 20,000 iMacs, I believe. Uh, hearing stuff like this makes me very proud to be an Apple fan. Some kids said, learning is fun again. So let's talk about iWork. We have Pages and Keynotes, and they have a brand new thing called the real-time collaboration and with that you can connect anybody in the world on an iMac, on an iPhone, on an iPad or even the web and you can create keynotes together in real time. Alright let's talk about the Apple Watch Series 2. This is going to be available for pre-order Friday September 9th, available for pickup September 16th and the OS 3 will be available for free download September 13th. The Apple Watch, in only 18 months, became the second most popular watch in the entire world, second only to Rolex. It is also the number one smartwatch in the world. With iOS 3, we have a whole slew of new features, including instant launch, new dock, watch faces, uh, full screen effects, scribble, activity, and the new popular one is called Breathe, which helps you to breathe. Uh, another new feature, which is great for safety, is the 911. If you hold down the button for three seconds, it will call 911 for you and it will send them your location from your phone. Another great thing is Pokemon Go is coming to the iWatch. Pokemon Go for the iPhone was released early this July and has had over 500 million downloads already. So Pokemon Plus is the name of the app for the watch. It's going to give you a heads up gameplay so you can watch where you're going. Uh, it will be available later this month. It's going to track such things as distance, calories, Pokemons nearby, hatching eggs, and Pokestops. The Apple Watch Series 2 is swim proof up to 50 meters, as well as a new popular app called Swim Workout. It is going to have a dual core processor, which is 50 times faster, and the GPU is 2 times faster than the previous watch. It's going to have an amazing screen of 60 frames per second on your wrist, as well as 2 times brighter screen, bringing it up to 1000 nits which is very vivid. Not to mention everyone's favorite feature, it is going to have a built-in GPS. It's going to give you pace and distance with an instant start time. Uh, there's also a new hiking app which takes advantage of the GPS. It's going to give you fun facts. If you get off the trail, it will let you know, as well as maps. The Apple Watch 2 is going to come in aluminum, stainless steel, or a brand new ceramic, which is four times harder than stainless steel, and it does look amazing. It's also going to have some brand new bands that give it more of a classic look. Apple has also teamed up with Nike to bring you a second version of the watch called Apple Watch Nike Plus. This is going to give you a quick start guide to running as well as it's going to send you invitations so you don't get lazy. 
there will also be a Just Do It Sundays where you can team up with other runners and run on Sundays. They say it's going to be your perfect running partner and it's going to be available in four different colors. The Apple Watch Series 2 is going to start at $369, whereas the Series 1 is going to start at $269 and it's going to be upgraded to the same dual core that the Series 2 has. The Nike Plus will be available late October. Now let's talk about the iPhone. They have sold over 1 billion iPhones, and iOS 10 is going to be one of the biggest releases ever. Alright, so let's go ahead and count down the top 10 new features of the iPhone 7. Number 1 is the high gloss black finish. It's going to be called Jet Black. Um, I was hoping it would be called Piano Black, because that is a cool name, but it's not. Uh, it looks amazing. They're also going to have a less shiny version called Black, or just Black. All right, number two is the home button. It's going to be more responsive, as well as the force touch will be used on the home button. And it's also going to have a brand new Taptic engine to send you vibrations. Number three, it's also going to be dust and water resistant. The iPhone 7 is going to have an IP67 protection standard. Number four, the camera is going to have three times longer exposure. F-stop at 1.8, a six element lens, it's going to be 60% faster. It's going to have a new four tone true tone flash. It's going to have a flicker sensor to counteract a flickering light. Every time you take a picture on your iPhone, it goes through over 100 billion different tasks having to do with focus, white balance, color correction, etc. Uh, it does all these tasks in under 25 milliseconds. That is kind of amazing. Uh, the front facing camera. Going from the 6S to the 7 is going to be 5 megapixels to 7 megapixels uh, with an improved stabilization feature. The iPhone 7 Plus is going to have two 12 megapixel cameras. One of them is going to be a wide angle, there's going to be a telephoto. What this is going to achieve is you're going to have a two times optical zoom with the camera itself. The software is going to cover up to 10 times optical zoom, and this is going to be an amazing zoom. When the engineers at Apple were pushed to do a little extra credit, they made an astonishing breakthrough. Uh, this is called shallow depth of field, and what that is is the blurred background effect. One of the settings on the new iPhone 7 is going to be called portrait or depth effect. Not only is it amazing, but it can happen in real time. Number five is the Retina HD display. This is going to be 25% brighter than the previous iPhone. And uh, Instagram is going to have a new filter that takes advantage of the full color gamut. Number six, audio. The iPhone 7 is going to have stereo speakers. Uh, they're going to be two times louder than before, and they're going to have an increased dynamic range. Number seven, ear pods. Don't forget the lightning port was designed with audio in mind, so Apple is going to include in the box a lightning port to 1 8 inch audio adapter, so you can still use all of your traditional headphones. Number eight, wireless AirPods. These will play only when they're in your ears. They use infrared technology to determine that. They will last for five hours on one charge. They do sound incredible, and they do come with a microphone, so you can use them as a telephone if you want. They do come in a little box, and this box has a charge of 24 hours. And all you have to do to connect the AirPods is open the little box, and on the phone, hit connect. If you switch between your iPhone and your iWatch, it will automatically do it for you. If you take one of the AirPods out, it will switch from stereo to mono automatically. Now using the same technology, Beats will have three new headphones coming out. Uh, the Beats Solo 3 Wireless, Power Beats 3, and Beats X. Number 9, Apple Pay. 90% of all wireless payment is through Apple Pay. And later on this year, Japan will receive Apple Pay as well as Transit. Number 10, let's talk performance. The iPhone 7 is going to have an A10 Fusion chip, 4 core. 2.4 gigahertz. It's going to be 40% faster than the A9 chip. It's going to be 120 times faster than the original iPhone, as well as the performance of the graphics card. The 6 core graphics card is going to be 240 times faster than the original iPhone. It's going to be the most powerful chip ever in a smartphone. The iPhone 7 is going to have a longer battery life than any other iPhone. If you compare it to a 6S, it's going to last two hours longer. If you compare it to a 6S Plus, it's going to last one hour longer. Here is a recap for you. Don't forget about the LTE speeds reaching up to 450 megabits per second. The base model for the iPhone 7 is going to be $649. 
and it is going to be a 32 gig model. Uh, from there, you have the 128 and the 256 model. Uh, the 7 Plus is going to the base model is going to be $769. If you do a monthly plan, the average is going to be $27 a month for the iPhone 7. The iPhone 7 Plus is going to be 32 a month. Uh, the pre-orders for the iPhone 7 do start September 9th. They are going to be available September 16th. And iOS 10 is going to be available September 13th for everyone to download for free. All right, that's everything. I appreciate you watching. This is Dave from Apple Unlimited. I look forward to seeing you soon. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to watch more videos like this. Thank you.